hey, there's this new investment opportunity that everyone is talking about. Have you heard about it? You can make a lot of money starting with very little capital in a short amount of time, right? People are actually li literally making lots of money right now. So you want to make sure you don't miss this opportunity. So have you ever heard people tell you that before? I certainly have over the last 10, 20 years when I was thinking, how can I make my monies work harder for me? There were so many of such investment opportunities that were pitched. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a very important investment tip that has been, I would say, a contributing factor, a big factor towards my success over the last 10 years in property investing. And it helped me save me tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars that I could have lost making bad investment decisions. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video if you want to hear that tip. My name is Daniel and I create videos every week to help you make more passive income through property. And there are three things that I want to share with you today. The first thing is this, right? A lot of people and myself included, when, we, when I first got started, I was, you know, doing, uh, going for lots of different causes. I was learning about stocks, about Forex, about options, about tax lien. You name it, I probably attended a course like that, how to author a book uh, and, and what have you. And I'm not saying that all these are bad investment uh, opportunities or vehicles. The important thing is this, don't do so many things at one time. Right? It's not going to serve you. It's like if you go to the hawker center and there are so many stores that you can tap out from, all right, and you queue at one store, before you reach the front, you, know, you decide, oh, maybe that store looks nicer. I'm going to go to the other store. And you start to queue there. And before you reach the front, you, you're distracted by another queue and you go there. That is the big problem with a lot of investors, people who are starting out learning about investing. They are trying to do too many things at one time. Right? And the first thing I want to share with you is you want to specialize. Right? If you want to do stocks, great, do it and make sure you do it well. You, you've heard about the 80-20 rule. 20% 20 of investors that are really you know, knowing the market, they're doing it well, they are the ones making 80% of the profits. This is the same in every realm, be it Forex or stocks or even in property. For those of you who are keen on doing uh, investing in property, you don't want to do make investment decisions like the masses. You want to do it like the 20%. Right? Tell yourself, be in that 20% or even better, be in that 10% of people who are doing it professionally. And that brings me to the second thing I'm going to share with you. Be an investment professional. Right? Don't do this as a hobby. Don't try to get rich quick. That is the biggest mistake I think most people are doing. With a little bit of money, try to get rich quick. That, that is a big telltale sign of, you know, this is not going to end up really well. Not to say that it can't be done, but for most people, it's very unlikely. All right. So you just think back to you know professionals in a career. Who are the who are the what what kind of careers do you classify as professional? These would be your lawyers, your doctors, your accountants. And if you think about that, you spend many years at school, right? Four or five years in medical school just to be a trainee doctor. And that's the same when you come to medical school. You you can't play around, right? Because these are lives you're talking about. Guess what, my friends? The same thing comes to your financial investments. You don't want to play around with that because this is your hard-earned money and there's no gambling when it comes to let's try this or that. You want to take the approach, study this, learn from people who have really been there and done that, right? People who have that success that you want to have and emulate them. I always say this, that success leaves clues. Don't reinvent the wheel. There is no holy grail in it, right? Just learn how to do it, put in the hard work and you can get the same results as other people, right? It's the same. If you want to learn how to be uh, very good at jogging, for example, then you follow a training program for someone who is really good at running. And sure, it's not exciting. It's, um, it does take discipline and hard work. But if you do that, follow that regime for long enough, you will get the similar success rates. Okay, that's the second thing. The third thing is this, and the third and final thing before I share with you my investment tip, so don't miss that at the end. The third thing is stick to what is tested and proven. So if you had some investing success in the past and there is a system of doing this, listen to my language, a system. It's not like one good trade that you made or one property deal that you made and sold and you got a lot of money. That is a, you know, if it's not repeatable, then that was just, you, just, you were just lucky, all right? But stick with what is tested and proven. A lot of people, and especially you see this in the markets right now, even in the stock markets with tech stocks and you see where it's going, uh, you see with uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, whatever you have invested just a few weeks ago, is probably 50% of its value. And if you watch one of my previous videos, I talked about property versus crypto over here, check it out. 
you can do it with a small percentage of your portfolio depending on your risk profile. Five, ten percent. If you're really risky, maybe a little bit more. But this shouldn't be your, you know, this is my ticket to get rich. If you're thinking that way, you are going to, you know, be in for a really bumpy ride. And this is actually scientific. When you're investing, there's fear and greed. People are driven by these two things, right? And actually, there's chemicals in our brains, dopamine, cortisol, right? When you're stressed, when you're fearful, cortisol is released. And when you're greedy, right, you're, you're trying to trade and, and get uh, wins, that's where dopamine is released. And it's really like a drug, which is why people monitor the screens all the time. And I was in that situation. And I realized, guess what? I don't want to be so stressed out uh, because of my investments. One of my friends are telling me that his wife told him he's growing more gray hair as a result of the stress from investing in cryptocurrency. And that is not funny, my friends. We invest so that we have better quality of life right, and not the other way around. So if you're thinking something exciting, you want to make sure that, and that's, that's for me, right? If I want to do something exciting, then investing is not, it's not where I want to find excitement in. I love my investments to be boring. You should write that down. In fact, I'll say that again. I love my investments to be boring. I know exactly how much cash flow I'm going to get when I'm investing in the property before I buy the deal. And we follow a tested and proven system, my students and I. Before they buy a property, they know how much the value is worth, whether it's it's in an area of good rental demand, how much cash flow is it going to give you before you buy the property. All right? So remember this, my friends. Make sure your investments are boring you, you, with the money that you get, then you can do the exciting things in life. All right. If you like this video, you found, found it helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. Share with me your comments below. Wait, 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 wait. The tip I wanted to share with you, the tip is this, don't chase the next shiny coin when it comes to investments. I'm not just taking a pun or a jab at Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies, which is obviously the flavor of this season. But, you know, the coin could be anything. For me, I was doing everything and anything. I tried my hands in stocks. You know, I got some success. I had some failures. And before I got successful, I jumped into the next thing. So for those of you who know that you want to invest in property, and I know that a lot of you here, which is why you're on this channel, then make sure you stick to it, right? Don't give up when you, you start to uh, have more questions that you don't have answered. If you don't have the, uh, an answer to your question, someone, an investment professional in that field will have it. All right, so make sure you always seek out mentors, people who have done it before so that you can replicate their success. All right, and last but not least, make sure you click subscribe. If you haven't already, click the notification bell so that you get uh, informed every time a new video is out. And this is Daniel signing out.